Hey everybody, my name's Mousy, and today we are playing The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, yesterday I uploaded uh, two um, parts, one of this, the first part of this, and another Batman part. And I might Isn't do that for a while okay. now, until this game is done. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure, what do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but please... This man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okie doke, catcher. I'm glad it could be of help. Um, yeah, so, like, until this game is done, I'm thinking I might, um... I'll upload a part of this and a part of Batman at the same time. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Um How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> um I suppose hey, I better duck. give Duck and um food. Clementine some food. Um give him half an Here. apple. Oh heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. <laughs> um, there are three pieces of food left. Do I give... Give Clementine one, obviously. Because she's my responsibility. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Um, piece of jerky. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I like the way Lee's a lot softer with Clem than <laughs> he is with Duck. His Duck's just a prick. <laughs> okay, yo, Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Got room for me and Clem in there? Listen, I gotta look out for my family. I gotta know that whoever I take with me is gonna be looking out for Cat and Duck. Wait, I know that... Lee, you left Duck in danger twice. Well, the RV ain't even working yet, so there's no point in talking about it right now. Um... The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I know I did. Oh well, I can't be bothered. I always make mistakes. Okay, let's just give him Want some something food. To eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, that's right. I always look out for other people beside myself. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Hello, Miss Mommy Bitch. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Here. Let her have it. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. 
See? This doesn't yeah. change anything. That didn't help. That didn't hold up being resilient, did it? At all. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. You might earn yourself a place on the RV after all. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Oh, There's shut no up, love. you fucking... You keep treating people like he this. He punched me in the face! Why would you... You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ugh, oh, stupid old man. Ah, oh, right, okay. Um, what do we do now? It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh my god, he's such a douche. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Kadja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. I seriously want to lean into the game and punch him Sorry, in the face. There, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just... Get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, Come you don't on, deserve Mary, it, to be give honest. It a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. Ah, <laughs> Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? The fuck? Oh my god, he freaked the shit out of me. <laughs> he paralyzed me with fear. Ah, fuck. How can I move? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, kick him back. Come on, kick him in the face. Come on, he's only got one leg. Use the left stick to get away. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> no, he's gonna fall on top of you, Lee. Ah! Come on, crush his eyes. <laughs> Oh my god. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? Whoa. 
What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Oh my god. It's like... God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides... Everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Who are these I'm guys? What the hell is happening? Here's my brother Dan. Oh, hey Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. <laughs> Saviors. Steve, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. High five, Charlie. So, uh, what do y'all think? Okay, we'll You've go to the dairy farm. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Cool. Cool, so we're getting into a little so bit of a trade with these peeps. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. It does not. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well... You guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for 
Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. Whoa, what's kicking off? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Bandits. Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Let's hope they blew the brainstem out, otherwise that guy's gonna come back. So it's... It doesn't matter if you're bitten, it's just when you die. It's like... Oh, what's that movie? It's a George A. Romero film. A zombie film. It's one of the, of the dead things. It might be like the last two or something. Or is it? Or is it the entire series where if you just die, you come back as a zombie? I don't know. Here it <laughs> is, Saint John Family Dairy. Y'all can see five, how we oh, kept one, this place nine, so nine. safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. <laughs> this is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that I'm always edging my bets. We'll I don't want to be favorable <laughs> to one person or the other. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Fingers crossed for zombie cow. Fingers crossed for zombie cow. <laughs> we she... have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Come on, Lee. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. 
If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Okay. Looks like we found ourselves a little bit of a sweet, sweet padding, bruv. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to end it here, seeing as this video is already 20 minutes long. Uh, so, this is Mousy saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, do all that funky, funky giving stuff. Give yourself a pat on the back and everything for watching. Um, another lengthy cutscene-based episode again, but it is, of course, The Walking Dead, and it's an adventure game, and it's full of talking. Bye!